Oh my gosh, look at her. She's, a, oh my, <gasps> oh, okay. She's aging up into a team now, yay. Oh, him and Kimmy are getting away from the party. Where are they going? Oh, wait, are they gonna, oh, okay, well. Hey rainbows and welcome to today's episode of the royal family. Today's episode is just going to be a fun little episode. We're first going to start at the Willow Creek Palace because Takshi and Elena need to apologize to Elena's parents and Cornelius about what happened in the last episode or what they did in the last episode. And then we're also going to be having Molly Grace's birthday party and then Samaria and Makana's birthday party. And then we are going to be having Mei Lin and Kintaro. They're going to have a small little wedding. We're going to have Desta meet Queen Zamora for the first time. Time. So if you're excited for this episode, make sure you hit that like button. So we are playing from the household from Araminta and Takashi's point of view. So just a heads up, if you did not see, I did post a small little Instagram story on my Instagram about Takashi telling Araminta about what happened in the last episode and then him asking Araminta to come with him to the Willow Creek Palace since the royal family of Willow Creek, they love Araminta so much. So we thought like maybe they would go easier on Takashi if she was there. There. But the link to that is in the video description below. So if you want to read that first, you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, I have here Araminta and Takashi. We have King Louis, we have Queen Corinne, we have Elena, and we have Cornelius here. Araminta's really here only for moral support. She told Takashi that he's got to be the one to talk for himself, to apologize. She basically just wants to hold him accountable. And basically my interpretation of what happened in the last episode with Elena and Takashi is number one, so they like woohoo in Cornelius' room. Uh, Takashi didn't know that that was Cornelius's room though. Like Ellis, Manuel, and Takashi, they are not allowed upstairs, like in any of their rooms. I think Ellis has maybe like stayed here a few times before, but like he would be in the guest bedroom in a separate room. But yeah, Takashi didn't know that was Cornelius's room. To Elena, it was more just like, she wasn't like she wasn't using Takashi. Like she wanted to do that with Takashi, but then I think it was like an afterthought of like, oh, you know what would be funny is if we did this. So I do think Takashi's really embarrassed, especially because he didn't know that was Cornelius's room. As you guys saw the last episode, King Louis, he yelled at Takashi and Elena. And right after that, we didn't see it, but someone like it, cause everyone walked into that room. Like, oh my God, so many people walked into that room. So I think someone did tell Cornelius at the party. I think he was like, what? And like went and went to go yell at Takashi and Elena. As you guys know, Cornelius is a bit hot headed. So I think things started to get a little bit out of control and maybe Ellis had to hold it back and maybe Takashi had to like sneak out of the party. So yeah, that all happened. And at this point, Elena and Takashi, they're like, 18 and 19, but I do still think Louis and Corinne are going to be grounding Elena. But yeah, so Takashi's basically just apologizing. I think he owes Cornelius an apology to apologize. There you go. Yeah. Cornelius's relationship with Elena and Takashi, I think it's going to be pretty rocky for a bit. He's so angry at Elena. Clearly did not think that was funny. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't think it was funny either. If that was my sister, I would be so angry. So I understand. If this happened like years ago when they were younger, I think Louis and Corinne would have been more upset. I think they're a little bit more upset with Elena just because she was the one who knew that was her brother's room. But yeah, so Takashi has apologized to them. I think I'm gonna have him go talk to Elena just like off here on the side. Actually, okay, so I'm gonna have Takashi and Elena go talk over here and then Araminta is talking to Cornelius and Louis and Corinne. But yeah, she didn't want to say anything during it because it was, you know, what talk she did. She wanted to make sure he was held accountable. Elena is going to be grounded for like a month. So Takshi and Elena are not really going to be seeing each other for a while. But I'm having Takshi talk to Elena because I think he is asking just why did you not tell me that was your brother's room? Because Takshi is really embarrassed. And I think Elena does feel really bad. I think Elena just thought it would be funny. She wasn't thinking. I think with a lot of the things she does, she doesn't usually think before she does it. After what happened here, I think she might have possibly learned her lesson a bit. And I think she's apologizing to Takashi and just saying that she's really sorry. She didn't mean to embarrass him. And just saying like, she really didn't have any intention to hurt him or to use him or anything like that. It just didn't cross her mind. She's gonna have to be apologizing to Cornelius a lot. I think Cornelius is gonna be upset with her for a while. I think Cornelius is also just upset 
at Takashi just because he's a protective brother. His relationship with Elena was doing well before what happened in the last episode. Now I'm not 100% sure. So we are actually going to be doing a bit of a time skip like right now. I'm just gonna time skip a couple months to like the summertime. It's winter right now. We're not going to see Takashi and Elena not seeing each other and her being grounded, but she basically isn't allowed to go to some events. She got her phone taken away. But yeah, I do think Takashi has forgiven Elena. He really likes her like a lot. They've been dating for years now. They're like the fun couple. Like they're both really outgoing. They both, okay, Cornelius just doing pushups. But yeah, okay, so that's it. That's all we're gonna do here. We're actually gonna go back to the Glimmer Book Palace, but it's gonna be a time skip. So let's go. Okay, so we have time skipped to about like six, seven months or so. And we are about to have a small little wedding for Mei Lin and for Duke Kintaro. And also I wanna show you guys, oh, she's actually not wearing the outfit that I picked out for her, but we have have baby Sayori. She has a, I guess she's a full, oh my God, that face she's making right now. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's a, oh my, <gasps> oh my God, you guys. I, <laughs> I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her so much. I love her so much. I feel like she's my child. I was so sad to have her even just like grow a little bit, like from the newborn little baby that she was. Oh my God. I'm, I, I want to eat her. She's so cute. Okay. Anyway, she's a little bit older now. So I have her into the more full toddler than like the preset. I took away the preset basically. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out just a little bit. I'm going to have Han go talk to her. Oh my God. She's just conversing with people. She's so cute. Anyway, okay, well, we're having this small little wedding for Mei Lin and for Kintaro. It's just family here, so it's like, obviously, Araminta, Han, <laughs> little Sayori, Takashi, and then Kintaro's family. I don't actually know where his children are, but these are his children's spouses. Where are his kids? Oh, they're, oh, they're dancing. That's kind of cute, actually. So this is his daughter. This is Lady... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, sorry. This is Lady Vanna. I can't go to her face, but... Yeah, we'll see her in a bit, but she's actually really good friends with Araminta. They kind of grew up together. And then this is Lord Kai. That is Duke Kintaro's youngest. He was actually Lady Kyrie before, but now he is Lord Kai. Oh, oh, well, okay. That is Lady Vanna's, oh, not Lady, I'm sorry. It's Baroness Vanna. She's Baroness Vanna of Guangxi now. But yeah, this is her husband. This is Baron Connor. And then Duke Kintaro's oldest son, Lord Makara, should be here somewhere. I don't know where he is. I I didn't want to spend like too much time here. Uh, I guess, well, hopefully he'll appear for the wedding, I guess. All right, well, I'm gonna have Mei Lin and Kintaro get married now. So I just had this little small setup here. I actually think it's really sweet just to have the family here. I just, oh my God, guys. Han and Zayori. Oh, her hands are going through her little dress, but they're so cute. Oh, oh, I'm missing the wedding. I'm sorry. I was just staring at Han and Zayori. Okay, so Mei Lin and Kintaro are getting married now. I'm gonna be honest. I still don't know. I haven't decided yet if Mei Lin and Takashi are gonna move out. I think I'm gonna say no because I think that Mei Lin would want to spend time with her first grandchild. I actually think Duke Kintaro might retire and then give the title to his son and then maybe move in here. Another thing I think I am going to do. I'm so at this point I'm just talking out loud, but I want you guys to be aware. I'm so sick of having just a 40 by 30 lot in some of these worlds in Kinching and in Glimmerbrook. I think what I'm gonna do is say that like this is one of their other palaces because to me all of the royal families like they have multiple palaces or at least multiple properties. Oh they're married now. Okay yay they got married. But I think I'm going to have another palace for Glimmerbrook and possibly some of the other kingdoms too in the 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. Not the one that our Windenburg royal family is at but the the other one that I had like Amira and Jabari's wedding venue at, there's another big lot there. That, oh, now they're married. Oh, sorry. Okay. They were just standing there for a while. So yeah, just a heads up. That's probably going to happen when it does. Obviously, I'll show you. It's probably going to be something we're going to be working on on the streams. Okay. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. Just wanted uh, to see. Just let's look at her one last time. She's so cute. I love her. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go to Molly Grace's birthday party. Okay, so we are here at our new Brindleton Bay Palace. If you missed it in the facts and secrets video that I just posted the other day, which I will actually talk about in just a minute, but I mentioned that we have a new Brindleton Bay Palace. So this is, I, okay, so I, I didn't even mention this was coming. So pretend this has been in the works for, I don't know, years, because that's how long it would probably take. At least a year, I would think. But this was made 
by Lord Crumps. His gallery ID is Lord Crumps. I'll put that information in the description below. He made a custom content version with Felix, Felix Andra, is that how you pronounce it? Felix Andra custom content and also a non-custom content version, which is just amazing. So yeah, this is our new palace. I also have downloaded a ton more Iberian inspired lots. So like you can see this one in the background. This is actually Duke James, which is Johan's brother, James and Ian's place. It's huge for like two people and their pets, but yeah. And then uh, we can't see it from here, but like the town, there's a lot more Iberian inspired buildings there too. It looks gorgeous. So maybe one day we'll go see that. But I'll give you guys just a quick tour here while our guests arrive because it is Molly Grace's birthday. She's going to be aging up into a teen. This is the back of the palace, which I am obsessed with. It has these like gorgeous gardens, which are going to be so much fun to take pictures in front of. And then the front here, I might add just a few things here, but I love this little courtyard area. And then we have the seating area outside too. We have Sadira and her sister Aurora are sitting outside. That's so cute. This is where people are going to be dancing. I'm I might put a dance floor there later, actually. Not today, I'll do that another time. But then in here we have the bar area and seating area. This is Johan's office. This is a little kitchen. And then we have a living room area, the dining hall. We have a music room here. And then upstairs, we just have like a little game room here. One of the bedrooms, bathrooms. This is the master bedroom. We have another guest room here. And then another guest bedroom. And then a bathroom, a little kid area for whenever there are kids in the future. This is Molly Grace's room. And then upstairs we have Frederick's room. I actually might switch. So I think I'm gonna make this Frederick's room and then I'm going to make this Johan and Sadir's room because this one's bigger. So yeah, that's just another bedroom. And then we have a little workout room up here and then some bathrooms. So yeah, Lord Crumbs did an amazing job. This is incredible. This is one of my favorite things. Oh my goodness gracious. This is so pretty. But yeah, so make sure you go check out his gallery. He has such amazing builds on his gallery. And for the most part, they don't have custom content either. So that's really cool. But yeah, so most of the guests are still arriving. Actually, it looks like for the most part, they're in here. I didn't actually want them to come in here, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, they came in here. Oh, through the outside. Oh, because I locked most of the doors. I learned my lesson after the last episode, but I did forget this one door. So yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to do that. But we have a lot of the kiddos here. I know it's kind of weird, especially since I've like mentioned that Frederick and Jessica have crushes on each other, that Frederick Frederick is a teen right now and Jessica's a kid still. I'm keeping Jessica as a kid for a while because I wanted her to just have time as a kid with her siblings. Makai and Lily had their baby, by the way. We're gonna go see them later in the episode. And they're probably gonna be having another baby soon too. But yeah, I just wanted her to just like enjoy her time as a kid with Makai, with her family, with Lily and her new siblings. But she'll be aging up soon. She'll be a teen soon. So it's Molly Grace first and then I think it's Nani. And then it's Jessica to age up and then Kalea and Alice May. All right, so now they are dancing. Oh no, Molly, wait, what? I almost said Molly Grace. Alice May, she's angry, I don't know why. Um, Let's just talk to your friends. And we have Countess Belle here too. And yeah, Lord Ian, there are, they're just hanging out and dancing with the kids. Oh, and then this is Shen. This is Han's nephew and Ty's son. So he's here too. Not a lot of teens here. We're gonna have a lot of teenagers though at Makana and I almost said Kimmy. Makana and Samaria's birthday party. But the kids are all cute. I'm gonna miss seeing Molly Grace in this dress. Oh yeah, and Nephthys is here too. Sissy has been getting along with the kids pretty well. She loves to hang out with them. But all right, let me get the cake. I have pre-made the cake before the party. So let's bring that in here into the dining hall. I'm gonna have Molly Grace blow out the candles and become a teenager. So yeah, if you saw the facts and secret video, which I will link in the description below if you missed it, I mentioned that Molly Grace, she is probably gonna be the only one out of the kids who still take dance. Alice May is probably gonna be quitting soon just cause she wants to focus on her responsibilities as heir. Jessica quit a long time ago. It just wasn't her thing. She just wanted to hang out and do something with her friends. Oh, okay. She's aging up and doing teen now. Yay. Oh, she looks so good in this dress. I love it. It's so perfect for her. But yeah, Molly Grace is going to be continuing dance. She loves it and she's really good at it too. Okay. Molly Grace is aged up. Ah, freak. I don't know. I mean, she likes music because she likes dancing to music. That's kind of the only one I see that's going to fit, unfortunately. I'm going to do that one for now. Music lover. We're going to do that for now. Man, I wish there was something else for dance, like not just like the dance machine thing. I wish they could do other dance besides just like party and nightclub dancing. I would give her the athletic trait if it fit her dance ideal thing, but it's like a bodybuilder, which isn't really, well, I mean, it's easy to say fit and trim when you have high metabolism. Um, I guess I'll give her that. That's fine. That's I, the thing that I think fits the most, even though it doesn't even really fit that much. I'm just gonna give her a quick makeover so we can see what she looks like. 
like. So give me just one second. Okay, so here we have Princess Molly Grace as a teen. I just realized I forgot to put jewelry on her, but this is like, I just wanted to show you guys an idea of what she looked like first. I gave her the same hair she has when she was a kid, so I could like gradually make the change as she like grows up. But yeah, we'll do more of her outfits later on and I'll show them to you. You guys will see a lot more of her. But yay, she has aged up into a teenager. She's so cute. Okay, we're going to have her call. Oh, we have called in the meal. We still have other stuff to do in this video. So I'm actually gonna just, go oh, okay, Kona, that's fine. You're just shirtless in the palace. That's actually not, all right, that's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys at least like the new palace and everything. And of course we were gonna age up Molly Grace. She's so pretty, she's adorable. I think her and Frederick both look a lot like Johan. They got a lot of Johan's genes for sure. Okay, yeah, all right, we got other stuff to do so we are going to go ahead and go to Salvadorada. Okay so we are at the Salvadorada palace because we are having Desta meet Adric's family for the first time so Queen Zamora and his dad came in and she already knows Elon and Natalia but actually she's meeting Sissy for the first time too. So oh this is cute okay so she just got here he's kissing her on the cheek oh whoa okay I don't know what's going on I don't know why there's all these interactions that are happening right now let me just reset them for a second. Okay but Zamora and Cayman have come outside to greet her so we're gonna do a friendly introduction for both of them. So yeah, I mean, well, okay, at this point, Adric and Desta have been dating for several months, but I just, maybe because Desta has been so busy, because I've mentioned before, she is in the army with Bellatrix. They actually are currently staying at the same place in Sulani. That's where they're stationed. So maybe she's just been really busy there and hasn't got the chance to come to Salvadorada to meet them yet. Oh, okay, I don't know what they're celebrating. And then Sissy's going to meet her too. Sissy's coming to talk to her. And then Elon is here somewhere and Natalia is also here. Oh, okay. Elon's just standing by the food. He's like ready. He's like, all right, guys, come on, let's eat. Maybe we should though. Maybe we should call everyone to the meal. And then yeah, Natalia's here somewhere. I do think because Natalia and Desta, they have met each other several times. And I think they actually get along pretty well. I think it's nice too that Natalia was here. Maybe Desta was just like a little bit nervous to meet Adric's family. So just knowing that Natalia's already here, I think probably makes her feel a little bit better. All right, so they're all sitting and eating here. I love when I can get them all to sit up the table like an actual family. But yeah, you guys can see on Italian Desta, they're like talking to each other across the table. So Zamora, I mean, she already gets along with Natalia. Natalia is really sweet. I think Zamora and Cayman do like her a lot. I think there is just a lot more pressure on whoever Adric dates though, just because she would be the future queen. Zamora is a pretty strict person, but if you didn't know this, Zamora actually, she was a commoner. She didn't come from like a noble family. She wasn't a royal or anything. And I think she does have a lot of respect for Desta being in the army. She appreciates someone who works really hard and who has good principles and Desta does. So they are talking, but yeah, Natalia has a pretty decent relationship already with Samora. And it looks like, I mean, she's getting along with Desta pretty well too. Cayman, I mean, obviously it matters to him who his son marries as well, but I just think that Zamora is the, I guess, stricter one. But it does seem like things are going pretty well with them. So that's good. Sissy is, she's really sweet. She's already got a pretty good relationship with her brothers and she's getting along with the kids well too. But yeah, so it looks like things are going well with Desta though. I'm really happy for them. We'll definitely see them more soon. I mean, Desta and Adric, they're already young adults. However, Elon and Natalia, they're not turning into young adults for a little bit more time. So they're still teens. They're a little bit more on like the younger side of the teens. Okay, awesome. So yeah, they're going to come into, yeah, we'll have them, let's all have them watch a movie together. Okay, but we're gonna leave them here and we are now going to Makana and Samaria's birthday party. Okay, here we are at the Sulani Palace for Makana and Samaria's birthday party. They're gonna be aging up into young adults. We have a good amount of people here. We have a lot of the teenagers here and we also have a lot of kids kids here because I wanted to invite a lot of Kaleo's friends. I do see Bellatrix here, so I'm going to have Samaria go talk to Bellatrix. And Bellatrix is now in Sulani, so they've been seeing a lot of each other lately. Like Bellatrix still has to work and she's pretty busy with that, but at least she's nearby now. But I think their wedding's gonna be in the next episode and I'm so excited for that. It looks like she's already talking to Makana here. Oh, and then we have Cornboy here, Cornelius is here. We've got Aisha here and we have Minnie here, Gabriel's sister. Oh, 
on, Kimmy is here. All right, I'm gonna have Makana go talk to Kimmy then. Okay, so what I did want to tell you guys. Oh, wait, oh, and Caspian's here. Okay, so Caspian's here because Nia, as I've mentioned before, Nia used to work at the Sulani Palace. So her and Leilana got pretty close. So Leilana just invited Nia to come here and Caspian's here as well. So basically I kind of figured that Nia would be dropping off Caspian at his dad's anyway in Sulani. So they're coming here for the night and then she's gonna drop off Caspian at his father's and then leave in the morning. Oh, and then I did forget to mention while we were at the Willow Creek Palace. So Genevieve has already left to go travel. I mentioned that she was gonna be doing that in the last episode. I think her first stop's gonna be San Myshuno and she's gonna be stopping at like a bunch of different places too. And then I also meant to mention earlier. So yeah, I brought up the facts and secrets video. I'm glad you guys liked it. It seemed like a lot of people liked it. I know that I did give more facts about some characters than others. I mostly just answered questions that you guys had that I had either seen in comments or I posted a question sticker on my Instagram store and you guys asked questions on there or also on the streams. So there just happened to be a lot of questions about the Oasis Springs Royal family with like Nea and Arya and Harmony and Charlotte. And there were also a lot of questions about Araminta. There are other facts that I have. I definitely plan on doing more of those in the future. I don't know if they should be like separate videos on like each royal family, maybe like facts and secrets about each royal family. Those videos do take a very long time though. It's mostly just getting the pictures for everything, but I'll just gradually work on those videos and just gradually get pictures for them and come up with the facts for them. So that way I know I can just release them just like every few months or weeks or something like that. And I think it'll just be nice to have a playlist of the facts and secret videos that you guys can refer to anytime you need to. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick. Okay, so here's Nia. So that is Caspian's mom. She's here. Oh, look at Jessica. She looks so cute. Oh yeah, I still need to show you Makai and Lily's baby after this. So that's the last thing we'll do in this video. Got Elon here and Minnie. And yeah, Nea is here too. With Gabriel and Elena here. So yeah, it is a few months since after she's been grounded. So she's not grounded anymore. And then, oh, and then we have Takashi here too. So yeah, I would assume they're doing okay at this point. And then Bellatrix and Samaria there in the middle here. Maybe you guys, I don't know, should you like not be in the center of this circle? I mean, if you want to, that's okay. But I'm so excited for their wedding, you guys. They're so cute. I love them so, so much. Oh, they're so sweet. And then we have, Col oh no, <gasps> guys. Oh my God, wait. Ugh. Kaleo and Caspian are arguing with each other and Alice May is just standing there. I th I mean, Kaleo's got a really big crush on Alice May, even though he's never said it out loud. Like I think he's well aware of his crush on Alice May. I think he just doesn't want to tell anybody because he doesn't want to ruin his friendship with Alice May. But yeah, he does have a pretty big crush on her. This is the first time Caspian's been at an event, like a royal event. I think that even though Nia knows Leilana, I don't think that Caspian's ever actually met Kaleo before he met him like years ago at the Windenburg Palace when all the friends were hanging out in the backyard, like all the kids were hanging out there. Alice May and Cedric are really the only ones that Caspian knows here. So maybe he was just talking to Alice May. Maybe Kaleo got a little bit jealous. I mean, Caspian wasn't like flirting with Alice May or anything really. It was just him talking to her because he didn't know who else to talk to. He doesn't know anyone else. So that's interesting. Okay. I think pretty soon Caspian's going to be going to live with his dad for like a while, maybe like a whole summer or something like that. And then maybe when he comes back, he'll be aged up into a teenager. Okay, maybe we should just go ahead then and have them blow out the candles. Let's open this. I think I already have the cake made. Okay, yeah. Let's just have Makata. And I keep, I'm so used to saying Makata and Kimmy that I almost say Kimmy every time I say Makata's name, but Makata and Samaria. So Makata is the older twin. So we're going to have him blow out the candles first. Oh, Caspian, he left. I feel bad. He left the room. We st oh no, 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 he didn't. Never mind. He's right here. He came in angry. I was like, I see Kaleo and I see Alice May, but I didn't see Caspian anymore, but he left and came back apparently. All right, but we do have Makana blowing out the candles. He got new tattoos as well. I don't know if I told you guys that. He's also been doing really well. I mean, the past few years, like he's had a public speaking coach. They are able to help him, one, just talking to people in general at parties, and then also just like, yeah, like making speeches and stuff, which he will have to do as Monarch. So he's been getting used to it. I actually think that maybe since he's getting his anemia and his hypothyroidism. So he's on medication for that. I might be getting rid of his lazy trait just cause I think it's really been helping him be more motivated and less lazy. So yeah, I will probably end up trading the lazy trait for the laid back trait, which it's kind of cool cause Kimmy's laid back too. So I can't do that here right now, but I'll do that later. I, oh God, I'm having trouble thinking of a third one to give him. He's not romantic. I don't think. I actually do think most of the time he has to go to his cousin Gabriel
Gabriel to ask for advice on anything romantic with Kimmy. So I would not give him the romantic trait. I mean, he's not like unflirty or anything, but he just is not romantic. Doesn't really know what to do all the time. Um, Child of the Ocean? Yeah, I mean, loves the outdoors too. I'm gonna give him the Child of the Ocean trait. Let's do that one. Oh gosh, AM is like in the table. Okay, she's like really ready for cake. She's like, as soon as they blow out the candles, I'm gonna get a slice of cake. Okay, but Samaria is blowing out the candles now and aging up into a young adult. So Samaria is a perfectionist and she is a, oh, I didn't realize that. She's a goofball. I thought she was cheerful. I guess she could be silly like when she wants to have fun and stuff, but like she also knows when to be serious. Maybe she's like sillier around Bellatrix. Okay, well, she was supposed to have the cheerful trait, so I'm just gonna give her that one. So yeah, that works. Okay, cool. So excited for her Bellatrix's wedding, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and call people to the meal. We have these kids just like ready for the cake. It does look like Cleo and Caspian. They're not, they're not arguing anymore, so that's good. Although Caspian's like right near Alice May right now, but Cleo's on the other side of the, yeah, he's over here. So that's fine. I'm gonna go have some Marriott. Let's talk to Bellatrix again. You guys are getting married soon. You should be like super romantic. I'm so excited for them. The Makana. Oh, him and Kimmy are getting away from the party. Where are they going? I figured they were gonna go like cloud gaze or something. I think it's so sweet that they always get away from the party though, just to talk to each other because they're loners and stuff. But usually they just like cloud gaze outside of the palace. Oh, wait, are they gonna? Oh, okay. Well, that's what they went to go do. I thought they were just gonna go stargaze, but apparently not. I kind of feel like Kimmy initiated that. I did mention also in the Facts and Secrets video that Kimmy Kimmy has been a little bit worried, just like nervous about if she got married to Makana, like turning into a mermaid, just cause she doesn't know that much about it. So I think she might try to ask Samaria about it. I kind of think that like, yes, she told Makana that he needs to open up and Kimmy's usually good about talking too, but I also think that she doesn't want him to feel like she's pressuring him to get married by like asking about the mermaid thing. Cause that only happens when they get married at the wedding. Maybe Kimmy, like she, maybe she's not like fully there and ready yet to get married. I don't think Makana's quite there yet. I mean, he loves Kimmy a lot, but yeah, I just don't think he's like quite there yet. Maybe he will be soon. Oh, there's fireworks. Okay, good for them. All right, but we do have to go see Makai's baby. So we're just, that's the last thing we're gonna do. We've done a lot in this episode. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna have everyone leave and then we're gonna go visit Makai and Lily and Jessica and the new baby. Oh, Bellatrix and Samaria. Bellatrix is hanging out. So she could talk to Samaria still. That's so sweet. Okay, so we are at Makai and Lily's. Okay, so technically I, I did the whole toddler preset thing that I showed you guys in the last episode. I wouldn't think she'd be able to walk at this point, but this is Iolana. That's spelled I-O-L-A-N-A. -A. It took me forever to figure out a name for her and I kind of changed it at the last minute. Lily and Makai are gonna be trying for another baby soon. So we will see that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you their new baby. She's gonna be so cute. Jessica's so excited. She's so excited to have a little sister. She loves her family so much. Lily and Makai are just like so happy. But yeah, anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There was a lot that we did in this episode. Let me know what you think of teenage Molly Grace. Let me know what you think of Kaleo and Caspian arguing. Let me know what you think of the whole Takshi and Elena situation as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.